Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the final word. Brighton Hove Albion 3, Everton 2. Before we get into that, just to say that we are proudly supported by The Athletic. Fantastic news organisation where you can get all the best Everton stories from the best journalists in the world like Paddy Boyland and Greg O'Keefe, two of our finest, writing brilliant stories, no pop-ups, no nonsense, no rubbish, you can get it all on there for all the best Everton news, so make sure you check that out, the link is in the description, you get 30 days free, and I can't remember what fifty percent off the okay. yearly subscription to it as well. There by you go. Clicking the link in the description. There you go. So there you go. Do so much information I couldn't remember it all. That's <laughs> how good the athletic is. So make sure you check that out. The link is in the description. As I said, we're joined by Steve, one of our patrons who went to Brighton on Saturday. Wishes he didn't. But can we just clarify that it wasn't a wasted trip? Because. Let me just, I mean, listen, is this where they come from? I'm not bothered, I don't care. I want, I want to talk about this for an hour. Stay come back with a box of orange twirl, right? I'm going to put these on eBay, on eBay yeah. right? <laughs> and I'm going to buy Everton a new goalie and a new yeah. centre-back. Stop it. I am. Look at, look at, look at that, a box. This man knows what to, this man knows the roots of my heart and also the roots of my diabetes. It is right here in this bag, in this box. Well done, Steve. No worries, mate. Different class. We might have come back with three points, but we come back with a box. Of orange. I'd rather come yeah. back with three points. But, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there you go. Sorry. But, uh... <sighs> the highs and the lows of being an Evertonian last week were all, we're all full of joy. We come in Monday and it's, you know, everyone's buzzing because we've won a game of football. And then obviously this week we get brought back down to earth with a very, very large bump. And then... Um, the beers tasted so much better last Saturday than it did this Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> that was grim. Grim, isn't it? It's, it's, you can't continue to live hands to mouth week by week with results. And I mean, the reality is we're not doing that because we've, we've five of the last six weeks we've lost. Yeah. So, you know, again, another Saturday where we've lost. Luca Dean loves them own goals on the South Coast as well. Yeah. I told you about the yeah. I told you about the South Coast last week. Southampton week, away last yeah. year was the winner. Brighton yeah. away the Brighton weekend. Away. Everton's last eleven trips to the South Coast, three defeat, three draws, eight defeats. Guess who we play next away from home? Southampton. We just got beat nine 0 Yeah, yeah. There you I go. Mean, that's a, what, a, what a time to play. <laughs> what, a time, yeah. what a time. I mean, they won't have a manager next time. They play us. They won't. They've got City away twice this week. That'll yeah, be, but we just have like a manager end. based on that. You might be. I'm not you might think based on I'm a nine nil yeah, defeat. Yeah. If it's a lose to us, that would be the final throw, yeah. wouldn't it? Uh, but back to this one. Just so frustrating and disappointing. Um, thing about it is, like, so he picks a team that I think we all we were all happy with. Yeah, you know, 100%. same team. Yeah. Obviously, it was good and that Mina was missing, um, but Holgate came in. So straight away we were all thinking, right, he's given us what we all want. He didn't, yeah. he didn't make any rash decisions. Listen, obviously, losing Bernard so early on was, was a hammer blow. Surprise. Not just because we lose Bernard, but then Sigurdsson comes back in and a wall we get pushed back out on the left. And that's a hammer blow straight away because you're just thinking, well, things are just going to go back, back to normal, aren't yeah. they? Slow through the middle of the park. Um, and I suppose... Ultimately, it's not really the managers that has lost us this game of football. No. It's a terrible decision by a, by a, by VAR and how the players responded to that. The manager didn't help things with his substitutions. Yeah. Two out of three of his subs were baffling, I would say. But how much? Well, we'll, we'll come on to the subs. Okay. But how much? How much? How much do you put on the manager for for Saturday? For then? Saturday. No, but I think it's good to get out of yeah, the way. Yeah, no, I don't. I, not really, to yeah. be honest. I, I, I think no. it's difficult. I think you've got to. I think that the silver issue is a is an issue with a lot of people, and I think a lot of people look at it collectively. You know, overall, um, I think Saturday in isolation, it's one of them things. Yeah. But we're finding ourselves talking about isolation mm. more and more when they're all together. I want to be put in isolation. They're all yeah, they're all part of the problem. <laughs> Saturday, I think, I don't is. We'll talk about the subs, but the Delft sub baffled me, to be honest with you. Mm. But 
I, I think he picked the team we all wanted. I think, I think for the half an hour after half time, we were the dominant team. Yeah. We looked like it looked like there was only going to be good one winner. Spell, yeah, we didn't. Play, well, don't get yeah, me wrong. It spell, wasn't a good yeah. game, and it wasn't a great performance mm, by Evan by yeah. any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. But what I mean is, we were the team that looked likely to win it. We yeah. were the team that were on mm. top. I would say. So it, it's difficult to level it at the manager at the weekend. Yeah, that, but then what you have to look at is the way the team responded. He has to take some mm. blame well, we'll for talk, that as well. Talk a bit more about that. I mean. We took, we went behind early on, stake, but, but you know, I just this this goal was a, it was everything about Everton. Uh, yeah, it was it was wasn't it? You know, Tom Davis has done really really well. Yeah. To take the ball out of the box, and he saw the pass he plays, he shouldn't be playing no. really. Not in that circumstances, he should really just be trying to maybe look upfield, get his head up. He tries mm. to knock it into Gomez. He, he gets it straight at him from. Two yards. It's very similar to the Wolves Newcastle one yesterday. Really, I think the Wolves player had yeah. on the edge of a box. Tried so yeah. playing it across yeah. and he scored. But really, it, so. should he should be he should just be thinking right. Let's just get up the pitch. Yeah. Breaks to them. Gomez ends up putting in a really silly foul where he doesn't need to. When we've got plenty of pl- yeah, players on the edge of the box, yeah. you know, he done that same foul against Spurs last day of the season. Flicked yeah. out a leg and Eriksen scored the free oh, kick geez. from it. And it's yeah. like unnecessary. The free kick itself is number one. Pickford. Puts a hole in his wall, which I can't understand why he's doing that. I don't know whether it's. I genuinely don't know whether it's because he can't see, because yeah. he's not tall enough. Ge- genuinely, but he's asked for a hole because. I I would love I'd love to know how many goalkeepers have conceded more free kicks in the last two seasons directly than he has, because it's it's a massive weakness, a massive weakness on his part. And. So he's got this hole. The player hits it right through. So we can see the ball all the way. And at first, you know, we told before, mm. we me. At first, it looks like, wow, what a strike. Yeah. Unbelievable. But when you watch it again, it's slow motion. Goes in the middle of the goal. Honest to God, if he just, if he'd done through, that, if he'd done that, he would have saved, saved it. it. If he'd done that, he would have saved it. Yeah. And, it, and again, it's another position now where you're scratching your head and going, a player who we had so much faith in and thought, oh, we've got a good one here. He's fallen to bits. He is a good goalie. This confidence or or this decision making at the moment's clouded. That it's not. He's not doing what he should be doing. I think potentially we know he's a very good goalie. He's one of the, for me. He's one of the top goalies. But but he can't keep making mistakes and, and have that claim. So you know he's he's made a hole in the wall for whatever reason. If I am up of the belief that if a shot goes through the goalie's hands, it's the goalie's goalie mistake. Yeah. Because that's what you're there for. Yeah. So, like you said, if he'd gone with his fist, the, the power on that, it's taking it away no matter what. Just it's, his position as well. It's just like, mm. he goes to time. He thinks, I think he's going to go over the wall. So he takes that step and again. he takes the step. And, then and then his, his body shape is just completely... And then the ball just goes right through him. And he's it's, like, it's anticipation yeah. rather than reaction. Yeah. Now, so I don't... He baffles me a lot. He does, he, when you think, like last week he made that save against West Ham, you're thinking... Could be a turn and point save. save yeah. And then the week after he goes and does something like that. His performances sum up our performances really at the mm-hmm. moment. Just it's just like he started the season. Yeah, he did, he had a great game. Yeah, Palace, he did. Palace away. away he was, kept that us big in it. save yeah. against Watford at home from Deeney. Yeah. I thought at Villa, Wesley's goal, I thought he should have done better. He reacted slowly. El Ghazi, he did not he could do really about that. And then he went away with England. And he came back and then Bournemouth away. For the yeah. for the second and third second. goal, yeah, which, particularly the third goal third one, yeah. was shocking. Mm. The one against Chef United, he doesn't do anything mm. for the corner. Whether he, people argued it was a foul, but he's got to be stronger, stronger than that. Free kick against free City. kick against City. So each week you go, and then what about that one? And what about that one? And you know Burnley yeah. and couldn't really do nothing about Burnley in all fairness, but. Saturday and just thinking he's got to be better. He is better than that. That's what it is. He's better than that. If he was an average goalie, in my opinion, you'd just have to go. All right, we know I just we don't think he keeper. helps himself at times either with the way he acts as well. Mm-hmm. I think that's probably a lot of ever. Did ever he act it. up Saturday though? I don't think Saturday. No, no, I'm not about Saturday, yeah. but I think it's people go back to that. Yeah, people, that's the problem with Pickford. People go back to it. He's, like, he can come across as quite arrogant and mm. like he's 
Like, I think that's fit. just. I wonder if it's a, is it like a, a confidence thing that though. So he acts, he, he acts over. Do to you show see any of like, the other top goalies bothered. doing that though? No, but they might be. They mightn't have that. I don't confidence. think he's got any focus. I don't think he's got focus. I, mean, I really yeah. don't. I watch him. Yeah. I watch him, and I don't think he's focused. I don't think he's concentrating no, on I the things he should be concentrating on. And I, 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 I would absolutely love Southgate to drop him. I really would. I, I really wish he wasn't England number one, because I think that's what gives him his bravado, which he doesn't deserve. The World Cup was probably the worst thing that happened to him. It, honestly, it probably was. <laughs> You see him. I seen a clip of him last week at the boxing in Newcastle. Oh, yeah. Now he's he's got every right to be there, but I just, I just look at him and just think, you just you just everything you do just sends out the wrong message to to a fan. And it's like last season at Newcastle when he's walking off cocky no, and yeah. all that. I'm not That's saying a, yeah. he didn't do that on Saturday, you know. No. But I I just think he lacks focus. I don't I don't listen. Of course, I, we don't see him in the training ground, and he could be working his, his bollocks off every day to be better. Sure he is. But. When I watch him, I see do things like that. I just don't think he's concentrating on the things uh, he should be I concentrating on. How can, you, he can't be because how, if a ball goes through his arms, he obviously isn't thinking of. He's thinking of what's going to happen rather than what is happening. If a ball gets smashed like that, you as a goalkeeper, surely your reaction is to just get as as make yourself as big as you can to get it as away. And that to me was just like mm, like that. Honestly, it was. It was, like, it was just a weird thing. It was well hit by the lad, don't get me wrong. Gross hit it well, but... But even that, don't put a hole in, in the, the wall. Middle of the put a hole in the... What are you yeah. putting a hole in the wall for? Well, maybe that's the thing. Some so, no, what you're saying see. is... What you're saying is... Hit this ball through this wall and I'm going to save yeah. it. And he doesn't. So why don't you just trust... And this is another issue. He doesn't trust walls either. He doesn't trust his defenders. He doesn't. Instead of just saying... get. But part of being a good goalkeeper is making a wall and saying, right... I know what this go- this lad's gonna do. He's gonna try and smash it. Right? He's gonna try and smash it. Get as big a wall as you can. Then get Gomez in the place where you yeah. think he's gonna hit it, or whoever the tallest player on the pitch is to make sure you, you, he's there and don't let him hit it. There, he doesn't trust walls. He thinks he can save everything, and I think he needs to be taken down a peg. And that's why I'd take him out the team now. Do you think the defense trusts him? No, but I don't think he they don't trust them. I, I don't think. But that's what I'm saying. He doesn't trust as a collective, that's him. That's where the issue is. The yeah. centre back is is an issue. I think I just think we've got obviously Michael Keane struggling a bit. There was a different centre back partnership at the weekend. I don't think the keepers playing particularly. But I think there's no. a, there's a lot of question marks at the moment in the team, and it, a lot of it comes down to mentality. I think I don't think ability wise. I've said it before. Watched Everton teams with far less ability than this team, far less ability who have been much better than this team. I look at teams higher up the league and think Everton have got much more yeah. natural ability than them. Have they got anywhere near their resilience? No, none whatsoever. And that's no good. That you can't. It doesn't matter how good your players are, how skillful your players are, what they're like when they turn up. Yeah. Turned up against West Ham, brilliant. You look at them against West Ham, people can go, West Ham, well, 18, you could say that about 18 teams and Everton are one of them. Yeah. That's the crap. So you can, that, that, for me, that argument goes out the window. Against West Ham, you, they showed what level they can play at, and that level is top six. But then at the weekend, they go. And, it wasn't. T- don't get me wrong. Saturday wasn't horrific. No. Because we've played much worse than that, believe it or not. And that when they play at that level, you worry about them. But mentality-wise, there's no strength. No, it's people making the wrong decisions. What What's Gomez doing? What What's he hoping to do by flicking a foot out? He's taking the lad down, giving them a dangerous situation. Let let it play out. It was three lads in front of him. All, if he squeezes yeah. through, then that's the defender's fault. You do that, then Pickford leads a, a hole in his wall and it goes in. Yeah. The minute a centre midfielder is tackling towards his goal, you're in you're trouble. In trouble. Yeah. You know you're already in trouble. Play the way you're facing. Let someone come out and meet you. Let the centre back I, or come and engage. For me, it, was I, bat, it was just such a poor things goal. like that though. Things like that free kicker just on Michael Cosm, like you're saying, it's, it shouldn't matter who's in the. It shouldn't matter who you've got available. As a goalkeeper, you should be able to go, right, from that position, I know I need a wall there. And then I guard this. If he bends it into the top corner, f- I said this loads of times, then he's done his, you know, what? I seen Pepe the other night in the Europa League for yeah. Arsenal, bending two minutes, bend one top corner and went one. Goalkeeper couldn't do anything, no. nothing. And you stand back and go, amazing. If you've got the technique, but when you when you haven't got the, when you haven't got the, the trust 
or you can't set up a wall that you think that wall's going to do half the, my job for me and I look after the other half. To invite a shot. Yeah. Because you're... To invite a shot because you're worried that if he bends over the wall, you know, that's that to me. He done the same against that's City, to me. didn't he? That to me similar. is bollocks. That to me Spencer, is absolute bollocks. And I'd get him out the team now. I'm not interested in what his level is. I'd get him out the team. Because he's not doing... If he was if he was, if he was our right back or our centre back or our centre forward, we'd all be screaming for it. Get him out the team and take him down a peg because yeah. he's not doing what he's supposed to do. And it's just, and it's the same with 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 other there's other players on the, on the team. We've got a squad there for a reason. We bought a new go, sub goalkeeper in the summer who's got Premier League experience. Give him a go, yeah. and let's see what happens with him. Because I, I I can't have Pickford at the moment. I just can't. I can't have this attitude that he's that he's he's got about himself. And I'm starting to see now what I think other people see in him from other clubs. Because it's it's all this. I'm I'm this and I'm that. You're not. You're not. If you do it every week and you prove to me you can do it, then that's great. But you you you're not you're not a kid anymore. So I'd get him out the side now. And the thing is with the two the two goals like the, the, the Mares one against City and then that one yes on Saturday, he's actually positioned on the side. The goals have actually gone in, mm. so it's not like he's having to scramble. No, he's the Mares one. He's on the side of the Mares ones. It goes underneath mm. his hands, and then the one that goes straight at him and it goes through his hands. I like like Ped said then. I just think I feel like sometimes he thinks he's playing like a p- computer game or something. His head's just like it's like he's like I, I wouldn't like to be in his head because I feel like there's about a thousand things going on in his head when it should be the game. That's it. I, I, I think that's difficult. To, I, it's difficult to prove, obviously. No, I know could, that. He got yeah. turn around and say you're talking nonsense. You can't. You don't tell what a player's feeling. And I don't think. And listen, he made a mistake at the weekend. Other than that, I don't think he wasn't a fault for anything else. He punched one back in late on, which yeah. he should have dealt with better as well. But again, you're looking over a period of time now, and yeah, it's not, it's not the one game at the weekend. No. He just isn't playing well at the moment. It happens. Form is like that, isn't it? That's the way it is. But I think like Pedro bringing him back down to that level, because even though, again, going back to that Man City game, he's laughing. Mm-hmm. Laugh him when no, he's been he an did. idiot. When we were three yeah, being an absolute down, idiot. Yeah. He was. Trying to dribble out. And trying to oh, dribble out. And Gary, even Gary Neville, like, what's he laughing at? I can't, I can't mm. have him. I can't like, have him now. I can't. And that's where. I can't com- have that attitude. And that's where it comes back to that there's no one in the team no. who can actually go to him and say, no. yeah. get back in your goal. Get back in your goal. What are you doing halfway mm-hmm. out there? It wouldn't happen. In any other top team, no. I'm sorry. Well, wins. we got back into the game. We got a set. We got we reacted all well to that. We got back in the we game. Did, obviously, yeah. with Char- set piece, Charleston got a touch, but yeah. ultimately to come off the defender one one. Um, See what they couldn't wait to give that as an own goal. Look, oh, no, yeah. he was flapping about. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna think that's an own goal. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna think that's an own goal. Oh, no. You're just like, so we'll yeah, b- all right. And then you know we go in pretty even. Then yeah. come out second half. Well, Cotch should have done better. Yeah, first yeah. time confidence that just again. Isn't it, it? Yeah. First time, and then come up second half. Second half, we've dominated the game. We've dominated. We've got, and this is what this is what annoyed me. If we would second half, it was nip and tuck, wet rains coming down, and then we started to get a grip of the game. We really mm. did. I thought Tom Davis was 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 starting to yeah. have a real impact. He was making blocks. He was getting the ball going forward. Uh, we, you know, when we had a little, we, we didn't really create anything, but, but we were getting on top. You know, he makes the subs, leads us to go to get the goal. Great run by Mason Hoggett, we're going to talk about in a moment. And Dom, first time finish, lovely. Great yeah. little bit of movement. And again, mm-hmm. one of the only times I've seen a ball fed into the channel and Dom's yeah. onto it, and it's a lovely little finish. And at that point, that's, Great goal. this is what you're looking for now as a, as a, in, as a, as a fan. Is there's 13 minutes to go or 14 minutes to go? Yeah. Can you as a can you ride this out now? Can you take this? Can you stand up to what's coming now and suck up the pressure and then go and hit them on the counter attack with the plays you've got on the pitch? And the answer is no. Partly down to one yeah. of the maddest decisions I've ever seen in my life, um, and then down to again going back to mental strength. You know, I mean, let's let's just talk about the, let's just talk about the VAR for a moment because yeah. it's it's baffling, isn't it? It really is. I mean, when you look at it and the referee's seen it, and he's not look, he's not giving anything, and players are all just walking away, and then for the old finger to the ear, and it's to be you know, I honestly can't believe they give it. <laughs> I'm still amazed now. I just it's. 
Yeah, it's mad. Liam Mason. This is the thing. Liam Mason, yeah. Liam Mason. Well, my brother even said that too. Yeah. On in the last like... three, in the last, in the last week, we've seen. Started with we spoke about this last week on um, we were doing the Premier League show. So Chris Wood's goal that got chalked off against mm, Leicester. Yeah. The one on Origi, which was which which was the right decision, and this one which was the wrong decision. And what it is in all three instances, it's coming together. Three players coming to uh, three instances of two players coming together, where there is contact, but that doesn't mean it's a foul. It doesn't mean it's no. a foul when there's contact. You know. It, a foul is not necessarily contact, it's it's the initiation of the foul yeah. of a foul. And in this it's a player just looking at the ball, two players. And the player himself, it comes from their reaction, how they react to it. You know, we're trying to get rid of diving in the game. This to me is the same thing. It's it's reacting to something that's yeah. not there. I played footy last week, I got stood on. I didn't react to it by jumping up in the air. I reacted to going down to my foot where the pain was. You react to the pain, yeah. you don't jump up in the air. Same thing happened with Johnny Evans when he, he feels the contact. Oh, uh, trip over myself, a Rigi, oh, flying over. It's nonsense. No, it's an yeah. absolute nonsense. Um, obviously you've seen the clip of um, Andy Gray and, and, and Keyes, and, and, and Richard Keyes makes a great point about about these things. It's, it's, he says, I call it VR. VR. Yeah. Because it's that, yeah. the, you know, they're now the referee, they're not assisting the referees, they are now the referee. And in decisions like this, I mean, we listen. We've spoke loads of times. We've spoke last year about it, saying that what. Don't get me wrong. What we want is if someone sees a foul, he goes, "That was a foul." Like you know, sound. Is it a foul? Yeah, like the lines mode. But in a in a case like this, where the ref has has not even not even he's seen it. He's not even interested. This is where that screen on the side needs to be used, so that he goes, "I think that might have been a foul." You know, do you think? All right, you know what? I'll go and check it. We'll cut, then I'm covering both of our asses, aren't I? And I'm giving the decision. And the ref walks over, looks at the screen, and says, and if the ref looks at it, you know, if the ref looks at it and goes, yeah, that was a foul. And I said exactly the same thing with me last week. He's checking his own mind. He's not giving it to someone else. He's checking his own yeah. mind and going, actually, that I missed that. I didn't realise. I didn't see that. There's room for both in the game. There's room for the fella to say, that was a foul. You missed that foul. Like last week. With uh, the foul on Sidibe, yeah, but that one there, the rest should he should be. I'll go and check that myself. No, definitely, and it's just mad that this weekend we started seeing decisions overturned. Like someone's made the conscious decision, lads, we better start overturning a few years. Said last week, it's not absolutely no. They had a meeting last yeah. Monday yeah, about the overturning. One, was it? That was some yeah. setup, but they had a meeting yeah, last Monday about up, they had to yeah. start turn, overturning decisions. Mike Riley said. Yeah. So they've done it this weekend. It was like I was watching the um, I was watching the rugby on Saturday, and obviously how the the, the referee yeah. communicates mm. with the actual. Um, and you can hear it, and you can hear it. And I said I was saying before it's it's actually I don't know much about rugby, but it actually educates you on the game, yeah. mm. and you actually realise what. So we get the guy in the, the guy who's sitting up there goes to the referee goes, "What's your opinion?" Yeah, and then he go, "What's your opinion?" And they'll both they'll both look at him and the referee's looking up at the screen at the same time as he's going. He was going, yeah, I can see contact there. And but if it feels like that, there's no there's just no communication. No. What from they're doing is the when they do that in rugby is they they're saying they're asking the assistant referee if he can see anything that he didn't yeah, see. Yeah, exactly. And then then coming to coming to the but they're both looking at it at the same time yeah, that's yeah. what's brilliant yeah, yeah. about it yeah. they're both looking at it at the same time they're both and everyone in the stadium can see it and everyone at home can yeah. see it and you can hear and see what's being debated where is in football never gone that many it's just this magic thing of yeah and you've seen it at Arsenal yesterday they have a goal this allowed for absolutely nothing mm. and nobody in the crowd knew what was going on because it's a secret society again and the problem is and this is the other problem is no one in this country is willing to talk about it in the in in the jail. The journalists are not willing to have a debate about it. So you have a, I know they did it on match of the day two. Mentioned the Arsenal one. Yeah. And they mentioned, and it is just this thing. They said it on match of the day. This is this thing of oh that VAR, and it's not like we need to get this sorted. There's no one. There's no one saying we need to have a look at this again. Not get rid of VAR, but we need to look at how we implement it and who's implementing it. I, I don't under, for me the, like you just said that Lee Mason's doing it why is Lee Mason doing it 
you know what? You could go to the job centre and train up 12 people. <laughs> right? You could though, couldn't you? And go, your job is to... Here's a book of rules. Is your It's your job. Or get 12 ex-players in and ed, train them up. Yeah, but yeah. is the, was it a foul? No. But that, that's the point, isn't but it? was it, though? When you look at it back, it looks like... But it's the, not... Yeah, but I, I know what you're saying. But it's contact. Mm, it's not a foul. But that he stopped. I've only seen days. one person say it was a foul. Dermot Gallagher. Dermot Gallagher. I've seen two, the player. Obviously the player. So Dermot right. Gallagher said today it was a penalty. Brighton's... Eve, and Brighton. that's the referee on Sky. He said, Richarlison one wasn't, yeah. and that was. Well, that's Glenn, the problem Glenn, with the game. Murray, Glenn Murray plays for Brighton, yeah. even said it wasn't That's a the problem with the game. The <laughs> problem with the game is, this is the problem with the game, is that there was one yesterday in the Newcastle game. The lad has got hold of his shirt. Yeah, like, yeah. like, like me this last week. Me, mm. The lad had hold of me in his shirt. Yeah, the yeah. lad's got hold of the sh- lad's shirt. Pulling him and pulling him and pulling him. And that's not a foul. That's a, it's a foul. Mm. Richarlison has got hold of And what Richarlison does is, he throws himself to the ground to show the referee that something is going on. Mm. Right? So, they might say, they might say, that's not a natural fall. The lad, the, when Michael Keane stands on that lad's mm. foot, is that a natural fall? Yeah. He jumps up in the air. You do not jump. That's what happens in cartoons. My thing, my argument for Michael Keane would be, if you look at it one way, then you would say there's contact, yeah. he stood on his no, foot. No, I appreciate it's that. It's a penalty. If you look at it the other way, which should be the only way you look at yeah. it, they're both looking at the yeah. ball. You're both absolutely looking Has at the ball. Has he got a chance of even getting so the ball? Is that, well, no, but they're both looking at the ball. Well, the point, so it's yeah, not like Michael Keane. Yeah. If Michael Keane looks at him and stands on him, it's a penalty. Well, look at this way. Right, look at this way. Think about this way, right? So if you've got two players and there's a ball in the air mm. and they both run into each other, mm. right? Is that a foul? Because you could say, well, this what this guy was going more faster this way than this guy mm. was. Is that a foul or is that a shoulder barge mm. just to come yeah. in together? Michael Keane does stand on his foot. Yeah, there's no does, argument yeah, yeah. to that. Yeah. But he doesn't. What 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 advantage does he think he's get? It's they, a coming together, isn't it? That's yeah. all it is. and it's exactly it's the same as yeah. I said about the Evans one last week. Mm. The lat Wood, the ball's going in. There is contact, yeah. and then Evans throws himself Throw to himself. the ground. Yeah. It's what Arigi did. Arigi did the same thing. Arigi throws and then holds the other leg, and yeah. then so we should. That feel, Connolly held the other leg. The other yeah, day. so we should feel sympathy for them. They, that's a dive as far as I'm concerned. There is yeah. contact, of course, there's contact. Yeah, but it's not a foul. It's contact. Mm. Because it's not it's not a non-contact. My sport. issue is when they look at... So they've looked allegedly... And they slow it down. No, but allegedly they've looked at the Richarlison one yeah. at the time. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. And said that wasn't a penalty. Now, but if you've was, got was, your arms yeah. round yeah. the lad, it's a penalty. The, yeah. If that's outside the box, it's a free kick. You can't go, well, it's not a foul in the box. It is. Then... They had to look at the Brighton one 15 times before they agreed well, it was a penalty. What about the Man City one on Saturday? So the Man City one, this is where it's hilarious. The whole yeah. thing's hilarious if you want to talk about whether VAR. Uh, so the Man City one, they couldn't def- definitively oh, well, decide the Brainers, right, yeah. whether something uh, yeah. had happened. So they give the goal, right? So then this independent panel, f- two hours after the game, said David Silva touched it, so it's David Silva's goal. Therefore... He was offside. It was offside. <laughs> so therefore the goal should never have stuck. <laughs> so what what is going on? What is going on when we've got one independent panel, an independent panel giving goals and taking goals off people? And then, and then another set it's it, it, it just this is where people have just completely seen someone saying they're dead sucking the air out the game. Well they are because it, it just fans will just it's getting sick of it. Fans are sick. just gonna get sick of it yeah. because we're seeing stuff every Match of the day two last night. Yeah, he was it, he yeah. was like in the end he just went, Oh, there was two big VAR decisions, but this thing's sucking the life out of me now. And yeah. that's that's the problem though, is that the media will just be go but we'll just become blase about it. We're really and we I think I can't remember what show we did a, we, it might have been the Premier League show. We didn't want the, to go and to look at the telly, but maybe what they should have done is said, That's how we'll start. And actually we'll educate the the fans. So that this is how it starts, but then we'll use the telly less and less yeah. and less, and it'll only be for this these big moments where the, we want the referee to decide whether it was a into you know a, it was a, to clarify in his own head. Yeah. And what we've done is we've allowed it to go on. It's not been funny. The next set of Premier League games are going to be played in November, and nobody's looked at a screen yet. That is absolutely Ridiculous. farcical. It is. Farcical. It is, that yeah. not one of them. So that means that they're under instructions, and this week they were under instructions to change their minds. So straight away, what does that say to you? That says that the whole thing 
is nonsense. That the whole thing is rigged. Because if someone says, if someone has said, I think we need to start making decisions, then therefore they're looking for decisions to change. And it's no coincidence that we've seen th- we've seen three over the weekend. Ours was the first, and then there's I think there's two yesterday. Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal and another yesterday. one. And that's not a coincidence. And that tells you that the whole thing's rigged. Well, said it's rigged. And it's just it's a billion pound industry. If you think that it's not rigged, you are the most naive person in the world. It, it, there was an article the other day about Scudamore again yeah, with yeah. City. It can't happen again. So yeah. the next team's given 14 offside goals that weren't to keep the race tight. Different. It's all rigged. Even with the Richarlison one as well. It wasn't just the Richarlison foul. Uh, dunk. But it pushed, it pushed uh, Keane in the back. And mm. Davis was getting dragged out on the line. But it's, right, it's but I've like... seen it last week. With, and it's not to prove it's not just Evans. Chef United beat not... Arsenal the other night. Yeah. There was a foul at nil nil on yeah. Socrates. The, the lad runs the two and drags his shit. And the thing is, right? The, the thing about it is, though, it's not a conspiracy about uh, against any one particular team. No. It's the whole thing. Mm-hmm. The whole thing is is getting completely like what, what, I, what I was saying before about you could get like fifteen people and train them up. You could because there wouldn't be any. Di- no. If you told somebody the rules, right, and showed them a TV. It's like it would be like playing FIFA. If you know the rules, then you would then you play it like it's a game. You don't need some referee who interprets things because he's been a referee for twenty years. Don't need that. You could take a video, a, yeah. a video referee from rugby and go, these are the rules. We're gonna train you up over six months, implement them. Or you could take an ex player and then at least an ex player could go, That's not a foul. That's that one of Michael Keane's not a foul. Uh, because because they're both looking at the ball. But Referees don't look at things like that, and they, and that's what that's the problem. Clueless, is that it's, it's the clueless. same problem they've had on the pitch for the last twenty years. Mm. They don't understand the game. They don't understand that if someone's got their arms wrapped around someone in the box, they can't move. So therefore, it's a foul. And they don't understand that if two people go for the same ball and one of them comes out, the way it's like if me and Baz went for a 50-50 fifty, I'm gonna win. I'm sixteen and a half stone. I'm gonna win. He's gonna yeah. fall over. Is that a foul? No, because I'm a fat bastard. That's all it comes down to. But that's the that's that yeah, that's what yeah. happens in football though. Is that you see challenges and one pit and every they now think every single thing is a foul and it's not. They're just coming together. That's all it is. That and that's what football is always we, we had for a while, we sort of rode that line of understanding what that was, mm. to show the badge, or yeah. it's this or it's that. It's a fifty fifty ref. We but there's now there doesn't seem to be a no, there's no there's 50 no fifty fifties. There has to be a foul. There has to be a win. I seen Fernandino get sent off on Saturday. He, he didn't touch the lad. He he was running behind him and the lad fell over because there'd been contact where the lad had caught Fernandino. Fernandino gets a yellow card and sent off. It's not a re- it's not a foul. The refs don't understand anymore and they're because it's now entertainment. We are. It's like they're, they're obliged to make a decision. There, there doesn't need to be decisions made. Whereas in the old days, a referee would get both players together. It's this thing as well of where players are pushing each other and you yellow cards. Like, why do you need to give him a yellow card and me a yellow card? Tell him to come behave yeah, yourselves. Yeah, exactly. And if you do it again, I'll give you both a red card. Yeah. Doesn't mean you have to give you a yellow card. The whole common sense has gone out the window. And I, 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 and I thought VAR would bring in common sense. Me too, as well. I Me thought too. it would bring I, I in thought, common sense. Especially I, after the World Cup, because it was, it was actually used all right at the World Cup as it well. Works in every it, other country. And then, every other country. Because before the World Cup, I was like, nah, nah not for me. I watched the World Cup, I was like, you know what? Brilliant. Yeah. Well, I just thought what then, they'd do is, I thought the name and shame these things. Yeah. So yeah. There was I, no I, way. I stupidly thought yeah. that as well. I thought there's no way they'll be able to do it because they know they're on. But now it just seems they name and shame it, and they just go, oh, well. Carry on, and you look and start going, well, hang on, how can you get it so wrong? If that's a push in the box, or a grab in the box, if you're sat with the referee, how can he possibly, how could Dermot Gallagher say, that isn't a foul on yeah. the Charles, and how, but how can you sit the cor- there and the frigging lie? <laughs> the because referees, is- if there's a why in the frigging day of the week, they'll... The lion, that's we're, what they are. We're, we're the only country that doesn't use it properly. No. We because, are, because again, though... Like I've watched Steve, Italian football, they br- use it brilliantly. Because, over. Steve, what we've Brilliant. done is, we've done the same thing we always do with the Premier League. Yeah. It's the reason why they've got a, a, the, the new fellow who runs it is a marketing director. Yeah. We've, we've gone for the entertainment value and not for the rules. 
They said this on day one, we encourage them not to look at the screen because it slows the game down. You know why they don't want the game to be slowed down? Because they don't want the next live game to be affected by it. They don't want the adverts at the end of the, t of, the sh of the show affected by it. Oh, this game might have an extra six minutes on. Mm. Oh, you know what that means? Those adverts might be affected. They've, they're looking at the money side of things instead of looking at the actual game. Because what, what would have happened if they'd done it properly and gone by the letter of the law? Yes, maybe we would have seen games going on for five, six, seven minutes longer. But you know what? Over time, we would have gone, as like everything, that time would have come down as we've become more effective. But we would have got the right... The right instructions uh, and the right results, and now we've got to go back to the start. And it's no one trusts it. But the other thing about it but is, we're though, seeing games going on for longer. There's more injury are. time in any in what, six the minutes. Other, the other thing about it is, though, it's and this is the worst thing about it. It's just it's the old boys' club again. It's the same refs protecting the same refs, and then now, like you said, like you just said before, why aren't they getting called up? So so. Apparently on the one we conceded, he said, well, something happened to David Silva. Yeah, but he said the David Silva one was wrong against Bournemouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have to make a point. So we've got to take the blame for that. We have to because do. they... So why isn't the guy who got it wrong? Why didn't he get last then? Yeah. Why didn't he get last? Why didn't he say mm -hmm. to him, like, for, for six weeks you can't ref in the Premier League and therefore your money? Who gets who gets the problem with that? Us again. Like, ne like with Nias. Mm -hmm. Who gets who gets the brunt of it? We do. Oh, instead of the yeah. refs getting... No, but instead of the ref who actually missed that, yeah. getting punished, or that ref having to come out at the end of the game. And this is the other thing, so they get Dave McGallagher on a Saturday uh, Monday morning, they're like, and does anyone go, you f you're, you're talking? Well, apparently Steve he did Warnock. Well, Warnock's yeah. quite good, actually. Warnock, I've seen Warnock, Warnock actually went, laugh it. in the face of the ref. Um, the woman as well. Sue Smith. Yeah. But Warnock, uh, but, yeah. but Sue Smith, uh, uh, Warnock sorry, is normally quite good at going, that's, and that's what we need. We need more people, literally, Pointing out and and going, you you're absolute, you're talking nonsense, because they will. Of course, he'll protect. He'll protect his mate. He'll protect, it's the fellow who runs. It's probably he's one of his best mates. Why wouldn't it be? And this is the problem. This he's is part of the panel. I think Gallagher, isn't he? <sighs> That's probably mate. why they're all the protecting thing. themselves. It's and what it's nonsense. doing is it's Public just it's it's just having. So at least that's what it is. <laughs> that you're just having the same people protecting the same people protecting the same. They're all protecting their own jobs, and that's why an independent panel. It's like the it's like the Arsenal goal against Pat. I mean, how's oh. that? This how's they said Rob Holt or yeah. Chambers, whoever it Chambers, was. Yeah. Chambers is fouled. There's three men kicking him. He got Ian pushed Wright, to the ground. As Ian Wright got it. Ian Wright got it right last yeah. night when he somewhat this. You know what's funny is you look at this as hard one, like yesterday as well, which was absolutely spot on from VAR. And he said, "Yeah, but." He said, but look at it though. He said, Sahar goes down on the box, and I, I, I could tell what he was, what he was hinting at. Sahar goes down on the box, and it's a dive, and straight away yellow card. And VAR mm. comes along and goes, it's a penalty, you tit. Mm. He said, that's the culture. Of, he said, number one, you've got a referee who can't wait to pull the mm. yellow card out. Whereas really, what he should he be should doing be is going, blowing a whistle and going, I've got one decision. I've got a decision to make. It's either a dive. Or it's a pen. And yet he looks like a tit now. It's, but that's where the uh, works. But not you don't drag a yellow card. You'd you only drag the yellow oh, card if they oh. look and go, he dived. Oh, Oliver did it. Burnley, Chelsea, the weekend. Although he got the penalty. Mm. He went to VAR, realised he had dived. Then he booked. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what it that's, should be. But that's what it should be. But he's done it so properly. It that's does work. Saying. Because it does work. When people go, so VAR doesn't work, right? VAR is just showing you what's happened. Yeah. It's not VAR that no, doesn't no. work. Yeah. The people interpreting it don't know how to use it. And that's the issue. My issue with it is it isn't the fact that he gave Connolly the penalty. Yeah. It's the fact that he didn't give the Charles some one. Yeah. They've one that either both Silver penalties. Said that, didn't he? They're Silver both said the penalties same, yeah. or the ne yeah. neither are penalties. You but can't I, I just, justify is, either one. It just but the whole like you say, but, the whole thing baffles me is that you get incidents, incidents like that with in the Arsenal game where a player is booked for diving and he's clearly not, and then you get where it's used properly, and then and then you get this is the other thing is like, and it was like ours where you you can slow something down as much as you want, and if you slow something down, of course yeah. it's going to look a tense. normal course, tackle yeah. looks bad when exactly. you slow it down when yeah. you've won the ball. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. It was like what did you think of the what did you think of the Bertram on the other night? 
It was. It, it looked. It looked really, really See, I bad. Don't, I don't think it was a red card. See, I thought that was. And he scored. I thought that was the longest. Double, I double punishment. Yeah, that, when I look, when you look at it in slow motion, it looks. It looks. It's it a looks, missed try and tackle. It looks really bad. The lads are all right, and they carry on and carry on and carry on and score. Mm. Uh, for me, that should have just been a yellow card. I thought that was long stuff yesterday as well. I don't think that was a red card. Staff, well. I don't think it was a red card. Mm. He hasn't done the player, he's mm. just missed time to tackle. Yeah. And you will miss time tackles because you're sliding in. The game's so fast. It's mad. With that Zaha, and that took them four minutes to realise that, that was a four minutes. Oh, it's no, the, the one yesterday, oh, Zaha. A one. To realise if he had dived or he hadn't dived. But that's a minutes. disgrace, though. That's a dis- that's, that's like, a, but that again, though. <laughs> That's the mad thing about the game at the moment is that these people are making these decisions yeah. and I just, like, I go back to Mina last week. No one still can understand why that goal was disallowed. No. And yeah, he'd already blown the whistle. We've seen the Villa one down at Palace where he blows the whistle. It's like there's instances in the game where you can allow, you go, I'll just left it here, I'll have a look at that and that's fine. And then there's, but use your own judgment and walk over to that screen and go and have a look at it again. Yeah. You can get dickheads. Anyway, um, the Delft, just on the subs, because we scored three minutes after the subs, mate, yeah. I just want to clarify something, because I'd put on yeah. Twitter on Saturday night after the game. I don't understand the Delft substitution, and people yeah. are like, yeah, but we scored. It's not yeah. me saying Delft yeah. isn't a good player, because Delft is a good player, but I didn't understand why at 1-1, when we had them mm-hmm. pinned back, why he would change the formation. If you want, she had. A, I personally would have left Walcott on, even though I don't think he was playing very well. He was stopping Pace. Dan Byrne from getting up the pitch. Yeah. What he did was he took Walcott off and a Wobi off, and he put a striker on which was right yeah. in Dominic yeah. Calvert Lewin. No issue but with he, that. But then he put he allowed their full backs. Then no, but he put Delph on. Then he moved Sigurdsson out to the left, mm. and Tom Davis went and, and pressed in the front. He took so the pace out of uh, well, it wasn't just the pace; the shape went. No, I know. So we no, almost no. like every what we were lopsided. I don't understand why he brought Sigurdsson think... on because yeah. straight away who would you have put on there though? They'll I'd put one of the forwards on. Oh no, I would have left. I'd it. have put Keane well, on. Think, think, on. think about it logically, right? Mm, You've set a team up yeah. with a Wobie to play through the to middle, through right? The middle, yeah. And you've got a winger like Bernard who's playing as a left forward. And then you bring Sigurdsson on and move the, the thing that the, mo- is that a You go against your own game plan. Mm. Yeah. But like bring it, wait, what, do you know what I mean? So, doesn't that make you mm. think, though, that he actually is quite limited in, in how he thinks about the game? Mm. See, for me there, I'm thinking, get Tom up front and get the child some wide. Mm. That's, that to me, is the natural sub. You're replacing a winger for, with, a, with a winger. And everything else says the same. What you've done there is change two people's positions. No you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, and so that's it, what he did with the Delft sub. Exactly. For me, if Delft's coming on, it should have been Gomez going off. He was crap. Yeah, Gomez was he was had a stinker. Yeah. So yeah. You, what you're saying in that move there is you're saying, right, it's 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 one one. I'm gonna bring Gomez, I'm gonna bring Delf on, who is a like for like yeah. for Gomez, but mm-hmm. but can also do the, the naughty Dig stuff, bit, the dirty yeah. stuff. And I'm gonna bring a forward on and be a little bit more attacking. Yeah. So you, but he, to take off to, you had four centre midfielders running through. It was you know, weird. It was just. It was lob- the same. I was the same as you. Like you just it. said there, when they scored the winning goal, it Gomez is trying to chase this lad back. With that, would have been Walcott. That would have been at least Walcott chasing mm. him back. Well, we were lopsided. That's why there was a big gap on there. I should have been and pre- But anyway, yeah. it was one one. Like you say, we scored a great yeah. goal. Holgate yeah. done great super. Ball, stepped out with it brilliantly. And I thought Mason Holgate had a good game. Yeah. It was a lovely little round the corner. Great run by Dom and a great finish yeah, out of his feet, bang, bottom it's corner. So easy, it's wasn't it? Nice and, 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 you know, I criticise Dom at times because for me he doesn't make them runs, yeah. but we don't give him the opposite. And this is where that annoys me when people question Moise Keane as well because we haven't given them type yeah, of passes yeah. either. Yeah. They're the strikers that wanted ahead of them. You know, we're, yeah. we're all, we've got forwards who are the same, yet we're, we're unwilling. And the last couple of weeks we've seen Walcott round the corner to Bernard Scored well, got uh, a well be down the corner of the at the post last week. This week, we've seen Holgate do it, and we've got Calvert Lewin in for a goal. It's telling you to mix the yeah. way we play up, but we get in front, and you're right, there's fifth or 16 minutes to go, and you're thinking, All right, we've come from behind, got level, we're in front now, big 16 minutes now, keep doing what you're doing. But because he'd mixed the team up, people were out of position, so yeah. it didn't play out yeah, the same yeah. way, they were always gonna. They were always going to come on to us. Yeah. But they didn't really have anything to come on to us with because the game, plan, the game plan had missed. They put Glenn Murray on. They brought 
uh, Trossard on, who yeah, he'd give them he, a bit yeah, of an outlet, well. but yeah, he well. he'd give them a bit more of an outlet because we'd taken off that mm. area of the pitch. Where and one, by take, the problem yeah. is as well is, by taking Walcott off, and with Sidney being so attacking, mm. there was no cover. There was no cover. No. So you so you've got to you've got to get the message over there to don't go forward now mm. because the we were lopsided, weren't we? They targeted that side. We were lopsided. That's right. Well, I mean, for me, the last ten minutes is a disgrace. Mostly the going into injury time because yeah. the players just stopped. I mean, I've seen players afterwards going completely rattled by that by that penalty. You shouldn't be rattled by it. It's only two two. It's two two, and there's a game to it's win. Fifteen minutes to go when yeah, that penalty. Exactly. And now what that should do, in my opinion. Is it should it should fire you up to go? You cheating bastard! Mm. Yeah. We're gonna win this game yeah. now, and we should have gone. We should have gone at them again. But because he'd we're all over the place. He lopsided the, the team. The went and then Michael Michael Keane's head went oh. as well, didn't yeah, he? He many. started. Let's change. talk about. Sorry, let's yeah. just talk about Holgate for a minute. Because yeah. I thought he had, box out, I thought he. Yeah, I thought he played <laughs> quite well. There we go. Fifty touches, one assist, forty successful passes, nineteen forward successful passes. Which is uh, which is excellent because that's what you want to see. He's the ball player in there. Ninety three percent pass accuracy again. It's very good. Five ball recoveries, three clearances, uh, three fouls committed, two successful tackles, one aerial duel. Obviously, the caption is "Is he ready?" I would say yes. At the moment, I'm looking at I'm looking at a fella who I, I defended last season. I thought he was excellent last season. Yeah. Michael Keane. First season, we know his struggles. Last season, I thought he was excellent with Zuma. This season, I think he's been poor, yeah. and I have to say that. And again, he went out I, same as Pickford went with England. And... First couple of games, sound come back, made the mistake away with England, and as in my opinion, hasn't recovered from no. it. And and he's a confidence player, Michael. You I, can tell. I, I think. Listen, the most telling thing about Michael Keane is he doesn't have the armband, and never has had the armband, mm. and it's been passed down from pillar to post, and. For me, if I was looking at someone who would you go right, who, who would you out like England international? Well, you spoke about him being captain. Yeah, last he season. did. Yeah, yeah, and it all, and he's never ever wanted that armband. And I think that tells you everything. Might you be need to know whether he wants That's it. That's the problem. It's though. whether anyone thinks he can handle and it. I, I think he's. I, I, I would just go. Well, we're going to talk more about Michael King mm. in a minute. We'll talk about Mason Hogate. Mm. I'd have Mason Hogate in the side now. I'd have him alongside mm. uh, Mina when he's fit. I think they'd complement each other. He's pacey. I think this lad. It's now or never. He's just turned twenty-three. Mm-hmm. I think he's got what he has over Michael Keane is. I think this lad has an inside um, belief in himself that he's good enough. Sometimes maybe that goes against him, and maybe I'm contradicting myself a little bit. And what I said about Pickford yeah. before a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But twenty at twenty-three, I think it's almost that um, John Stone syndrome. Is you're going to have to allow him to make a few mistakes on the yeah. pitch. Mm-hmm. Um, again, maybe that's what Jordan Pickford's doing, but. I, I think I've seen I've seen and okay I I was a little bit worried coming into this game he's the third choice centre back and I was a little bit worried but what I would say is I've seen enough of Mina this season to suggest that Mina is the natural leader back there yeah and is what exactly why we bought him he's the number one and I think what worked last season the pivot of it was was actually Zuma because he was the he was the he was the pace. The pace he was. Yeah. He allowed us to get up the pitch when we needed to, and I think in Holgate that's what we've got. He's still. He's got plenty to learn. Loads to learn. He's not always switched on. He doesn't always respond well to things that it, like it gets caught sometimes like a rabbit in the headlights. But I think playing next to Mina, I think that would help him loads. Um, I think it helped Mina as well. I, yeah, I, do as I think well. it helped the team having a bit of pace. I think Saturday was a perfect game for him as well because. They're, they're not like they were last season, not like extra physical. They try mm. and play a bit more mm. football. Not many teams are like that's that. what I was going to say. That's why maybe. And he was up against Maupe, who, who was quick and bright, yeah. but he didn't really I think, didn't do nothing. Did I think he? centre forwards are becoming a little bit less more physical these days. Mm. Like you had your last season when he got, he got bullied a bit mm. against certain teams last season. But I think, um, like you said, I watched him in Sheffield Wednesday with Mina, and I thought they did complement each other really well. Mm. And. I remember obviously when he played centre back with Ashley Williams. I'm not saying yeah. Mina and Ashley Williams. No, no, same, but that, no, that was our most successful. But, but, they were, that was but when one was a bit of a stopper. Yeah. One was a ball player. Yeah, but when yeah. he played with like Keane, Keane or Jack Yelk, he looked. He, he didn't really look mm. as, as good then. But I think with, with Mina, I, I think it's, again it's time to take Michael Keane out the firing line a bit. Mm. Maybe take him out for a, until he does make a mistake. But I just think uh, like like Ped and 
said then. It's now or never for Holgate. You've got to give the lad a chance. It can't be any worse than what we're doing at the moment, you know what I mean? At the back. Well, we've been screaming out for pace, haven't we? We've yeah. all been saying, you know, Keane and Mina, all right, the sound, that, that stop them. But, the, but Michael Keane has to play at the very best of his ability yeah. to, to be good. Because at the moment, his head's gone. So he's not, he's making mm. mistakes. Mm. I mean, he's all over the place at the weekend. Absolutely all over the yeah. place. And it's no good because that then creates uncertainty with the goalkeeper. Uncertainty with players yeah. around you. Holgate, we've said it before, you just mentioned it then. Many players, the best partnership under Allardyce was him and Williams. And mm. he, you know, Anfield, two big games against their front three. And he was, you know, he's, pushed, he's got the confidence he's as well. He's got the arrogance. You, yeah. and, and okay, he does make mistakes. Not the, saying that, but the others are making mistakes. side to him as well, anyway. He, has, he has, leaves got, a like you said, a few leaves. But on Saturday, those fouls you're on about, he'd done them in positions where we were under a bit of a press. Like, he took someone out on the halfway line, yeah. and if he'd, if he'd got round him, they would have been in. Mm. So, I thought, that, that's Clever. good game management yeah. for a 23 year old as well. Mm. He doesn't so, play, does he? So. he doesn't, yeah, and that's the thing, he doesn't play. And if I was him, I'd be sitting there. Go, and I, I think the only problem is, is that for him, is that we're going to go. We're going to go into a spell now. We're going to play against a lot of top teams, top which team. means they're going to have a lot of top strikers. Um, but. The alternative to me is, 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 well, put it this way: I would be wouldn't be that asked if every player who Cumin bought wasn't at the club anymore. I seriously wouldn't. So. Yeah, I just think with Holgate as well, it, 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 Michael Keane's not playing well enough to stay in no. the team. So why don't you give someone else a go? You can't just leave someone in because you go, well, he's, mm. he's, you know, he's probably better than him if he's if he's struggling. He's gonna want to take the ball by the horns. Holgate, he's gonna want to. You know, get a run of games going, isn't he? He come on against for the last minute against West Ham. He's played on Saturday. The, the second goal, I thought, you know, showed for us the way he stepped out, the way he wanted. The way he put, slipped, slipped him in, mm. seen the space, and he went into it. And he, you know, for a twenty-three-year-old, it takes a lot of confidence to do that. You know, you might, you might just think, oh, I'll just, I'll just give this off to someone. No, he thought, well, I'll have a run. Stay. I've got the pace, mm -hmm. and it's a lot. And I remember when we signed him, yeah. and that, that the next year, a lot of people, we was like. This lad looks like he's got the talent of John Stones, yeah. and, and but also defend. got yeah. can also defend, mm -hmm. and it hasn't gone it hasn't gone right bringing for him because I just don't think he's been given the chance though. But I, I think when he's had the chance, he, he's always had that little mistake in him. But I think now I think young centre backs do. Well, he will, won't he? But that's the problem. It's like, and that's the problem with now. It's like, will the manager look at it and go, "Well, I've got Michael Keane, who, who's an international, bar bar bar, and he's a, is that what I need?" But that's a bit. But whether you like to talk about it or not. Allardyce came in and thought, well, that's the perfect pairing. Yeah. I've got a bit of pace, I've got a scrapper, and, and they worked well together. And You've got to look for what's worked in the past, and what worked in the past was someone at the back with pace and, and a stopper, and him and Mina would have those. So He's I, only going to improve by playing games, isn't he? I'd definitely give him, give him a run, definitely. You know, we went behind... The third goal as well, we just get Sidibe's pressing on the edge of their box. Why? It's on Marco Silva's side, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Wasn't it on yeah, that yeah. side? Yeah, yeah. So why aren't we giving instructions for one of our midfielders to sit in, sit in. or yeah. to come across? And we don't, we they break. Michael Keane, watching just... our midfield. We watched it again, though, before. Yeah. Yeah. As they're breaking and that Trossard's got the ball, Michael Keane motions to go towards him. And then steps back and run and gets pushed towards his own penalty. Just doesn't spot. sense the danger, does Which, he? Well, he just allows the lad to run into the space. If he goes and closes the ball, and the lad skips round him, fair enough. But he doesn't. He take goes him out. and steps away, and he's Outside in. The box. You he's just in take him. Just take him. Down. Just take him do, don't you? Just you do. That's what you Nonsense. do. You just yeah, that's the problem. Well. That's a general problem in football all over. There's not enough players who do that. Not enough players who go. No. There's all this. Listen, yeah, but I'm going. Gomez did that, and they score from it. You've got to be which just suck the lad out. No, no. I mean, that's that's a different circle. That's five. What I'm saying we is, didn't, what I'm saying is, yeah. you, what I'm saying is, the footballers now get trained to back off and back off mm, and back yeah. off yeah. and not touch Don't anyone. Go and, meet the ball, yeah. and what what I'm saying, like if someone has run actually towards yeah, him, there. Yeah. Number one, if he's that good a player, you say, well, beat me then, mm. beat me. Although there had been one in the game where Keane had been completely done over by him. Um, yeah, but if he runs out and presses the ball, no, that's what I'm saying. He'll, he might force him wide. More chance of nicking the ball. Oh, well. forcing him yeah. wide, and then you've got a chance for your other players to get yeah. round. He didn't. He goes and then backs away, and then the lad just attacks the space. 
puts a ball across, and obviously Luca Dean. Well, he's sliding in, he's isn't sli- he? If he leaves it, Glenn Murray's yeah, behind yeah. him and scores. So yeah. it's it's neither here nor there. Although the, the Reds well, the have loved g- giving me the best left back in the world, scoring an own goal and all that. But it was just poor. And but you know what? Were you surprised? So I wasn't. And that's that's no. the biggest indicator, I think. The biggest indicator when that went in, I just went. Just comes back to what we said before, though. And there's no leadership on the pitch at two all. There's no leadership though in that move. Yeah. To mm. say. To someone to say, I'll stick back I'll on this. We're not going to yeah, commit yeah. every player forward. Um, they had f- at one point there's, you can there's a still and it's like five on three. We were ragged. We had to, if you actually take the goal back to where it come from, we're on the attack. Gilfie Sigurdsson has it in on the edge of their box, and there's yeah. ten yards for him to run into, and he just doesn't look and throws a blind cross in with his left foot for no reason because he had more time to get his head up. The keeper catches it and bowls it out, and they catch us. Now, if he takes a bit of time on the ball okay. and looks up, he's got so much ability. He could put a tremendous ball in or, or buy himself half a yard and hit it like we know he can. But why is, But why, he just tosses one into but, the box and, and we're committed. But even people like Delph, if Delph's up yeah, there yeah, and he yeah. sees. Why isn't he shifting? If he over? sees like the, the right back, why isn't he going, right, I better get back to the right back then? Mm. I better go now. Even Davis just stayed in the same spot, yeah. didn't he? In the middle, not blaming both of them, but one of, you've got to take these ones with Willis. And this is again when with the manager, it's easy to, to point the finger at Silver and go oh, or whatever. And they sub did it sub messed our shape up. So I get everyone blaming them for that fair play. And I, I like I said before, if, if you bring in Delph on, it's for Gomez. It's quite not simply. the first time that's happened. No, no that's it. the problem. But, no, it's a commute. It's a it's a yeah. It's a cumulative. Cumulative, that's, cumulative that's, that's of Newcastle, Six Millwall. Six defeats. Mm. Six yeah, defeats that's now. Season, that's man. the highest number of defeats after 10 games. Well, let's have then a You've look got to go back to 2000 have... and... Uh, I've got a stat here. Oh, have you? Come on, have, You've got to go back to 2011, 2012 so, since we'd lost uh, six games. In the opening. In the opening 10 games. Really? They, I mean, finished seventh against Liverpool that year and we got to an FA Cup semi-final. <laughs> but that's because okay. we had a great second half of the season. And to be honest... Having only three wins at this time of year isn't isn't massively strange. Most, if you go back over the last few seasons, Mo- Moyes is sec- uh, Martinez is second and third season. Um, I think he got, I think he didn't get his third win November, was in it? his second season until inside November, and in his in his second season, I think the tenth game he got his third win, and in his third season, I don't think we got our third win until November. It's mad when you look back at yeah, how bad those yeah, yeah. seasons no, well, we, we start poorly. Cumin's second, Cumin's second season when he got sacked, uh, he, he didn't have six defeats by now. He only had five yeah. when he got sacked. But obviously with the lost Europa League. The Europa um, League. Yeah, but he lost but, two out of three. But you've got to go back. You've got to go back to the season when we signed. When we had, well, when we signed Strachwell Lacey, then into there, and we had Velios playing up front for us at the beginning of the season that, and Arteta got sold mm. that's, yeah. so, so that's where, that's how far you have to go back but in terms of winning th- winning th- only having three wins after easy 10 games is not a massive load, thing we? easy draw a load well, we, had, we haven't had a hard start have we I know, well, that's the I, know I mean to be fair every Premier League game is difficult of course it is but it could have been so much more difficult this <sighs> start than it's been you look at it on paper that's my worry though, though. Had we've had those games there where we even if you drew a couple of them but now, if we we're coming into Saturday, we'd have drawn on Saturday. Yeah, that's what I mean. We'd have, we'd have got a point in adversity yeah. because if of the VAR. If it had been 2-2, so don't lose, off, just don't lose the game. Yeah. We all come off yeah. and gone, VAR, what a disgrace, yeah, blah, exactly. blah, blah. That takes the heat off, off the manager mm. straight away. But because we just fall to bits like we did at the end, then it all goes back on the manager and the players. And VAR is just a, a, a byproduct of it. You know, it's a side, it? yeah, exactly. Where that should have been, oh, that should have been the two fucking everyone's against us. Come on, let's roll our sleeves up next game. Blah blah blah. It's not. It's that last five ten five ten minutes where it's just stupid mistake. Well, we where someone see. on the pitch yeah. has to go. Why have we got six players up front and? And four centimetre field. Well, we will do that, but it's too late then. It's, yeah, it's at the it. time. We've lost, I mean, we've lost 60% of our games this season. We've conceded 57% of our goals in, in the last 20 minutes, though. And that's, oh, that's an that's issue. That's the problem. That's an issue. This is the, obviously the heat back on the manager. There's his Premier League record as Everton manager. 48 games played, 19 wins, 10 draws, 19 defeats, just under 40%, well, 39.5% win ratio. Um, I mean, it's hard. Like you say, Saturday, I, I don't really, I can't label them as, as it was all his fault that we lost the game. 
The problem you've got is there's no belief at the moment, I don't think, from anywhere that we're going to go on any kind of run. Yeah. It feels like we'll win win a game and then lose a game. We're a one and three team at best. Mm. And, and that that's not get good you enough, anywhere. is it? Get it's not good enough. And it's, I suppose, how much of it, Steve, I mean, how much of it... I mean, that basically... Yeah, yeah, how like much it. of it, in your yeah. opinion... Is it down to the manager, or you know what do we do in terms of the the manager? If I could, if I could see we were we were making progress in in relation to last season, like we're still making the same stupid mistakes as last season. Mm. Like Saturday reminded me of Millwall a bit in a way. Yeah, the way yeah. we just got, took the lead yeah. at two one, and then just something, the... something went against us. VAR yeah. against mm, Millwall, yeah. Millwall, and we just capi- capitulated yeah, yeah. as a, as a as a team, and. At the end of the day, the team is the manager as well. And mm. I'm sorry, but, but I think I've heard a few people saying oh, Koeman got sacked for less than that. It's I keep I keep people hearing people saying you've got to give him time, you've got to give him time, but it comes back to what I've said before. He's the luckiest ever manager. He's had more at his disposal than any other manager we've had mm. ever in the club's history. Still can't defend set pieces, can't see our games. Can't score goals. What does that tell you? Mm. The mentality comes from the manager. I'm With sorry, two it, one does. Up. it does. Two one up from in the a game. top yeah. to the bottom. You're absolutely right. Two one up in a game like that. You're playing Brighton. Playing Brighton. Brighton. Two one up away at Brighton. With 15 minutes to go, you should be you should be looking at your team and going, "What do we need to do to see this out? How do we see this out?" Even if you, you've already made the subs, even if you just make a couple of alterations, right? You play there, you play. Dom, come over to the right now, and Richarlison go to the left, and, and whatever. And, and you, you just make, don't lose. You make just the don't, lose, you the don't game. lose the game. You're absolutely right. You don't lose the game. You do everything you can to make sure you don't lose that game. And you know what? And if you do lose, and if you do get decisions like the VAR one, you come out afterwards and you fucking tell everybody. That that's a disgrace. You don't come in and go. Mm, 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 mm. You fucking tell the cunts. Yeah, tell them Gosh. that it's, it's a sc- that you tell. No, you do though. This is the problem. No, he comes it's out. Just a C bomb from. He time. comes out and he just it's all. Oh well, if that was a penalty, then that was a penalty. No, you come out and go. This is a disgrace. Everyone's against us. I'm trying to hold on to my job here, and I've got these pricks with their fingers on their ears. You come out and you tell the world what what you've been wronged. No, we go. We're too nice as a club. Yeah, we are. That's the around, problem. We? We've got Very. people. We've got people still at the higher echelons of the club who shouldn't be anywhere near the club. There's no ruthlessness anywhere in this football club. We just accept everything we t- we get. Whereas that game, it should be like we're gonna dig this one out. We're gonna dig this, and then you. Then what's worse? Afterwards, the players are sharing pictures of goals we scored. On Instagram and on Facebook and on Twitter. But that's no, but it shouldn't be though. It doesn't it matter. Sh- that's it, it does matter. That's it does football. matter. It all matters because all it that's does is footballers. All it does is it sends the wrong. Yeah, but that's footballers, well, send, mate. Well, then they sh- well, where does it come from? I don't know. Do you think Moyes would allow that? I don't know. Do you think Moyes would allow it? I don't know. Do you think Moyes would allow it? I don't know. No, the answer is no. It's footballs the, moved well, then, on. It's footballs. Well, then it's, what's all the point? Then? What's the point? But they all do it. Get the man. The manager. I'm defending them. I'm saying. That's what they do. Well, then the, so well, you then can't he blame him for you that. Can. He's the manager after the game. Mm. Uh, but you can. The manager is the boss. He should tell them all after the game. I don't want to see any of you. You're in training tomorrow, and I don't want to see. Do you have Mourinho? Would I have Mourinho? Yeah. Do you think he'd allow that? Well, I've seen Lingard and Pogba. Well, I've what, seen what, Lingard, and what happened? Pogba, and what Dabin, happened? And what happened? After they got beat and dancing. what happened? And what happened? It Mourinho became, got sacked. It became down to them or him, and, and he, he went. went. Yeah, yeah, and he went. So I'm because saying the, to you, and look at it now. He's your manager who I would like, Mourinho. But it happens. What my point is, they're all footballers. That's the way they are. That it's the the knobheads. Well, then at that times. Is, that's the problem. Then isn't it? Is that we've got a, we've obviously got a set of players who just don't care, mm. and that comes. They again. don't understand that us as fans. They, it's a job. Well, at the end of the day, right? right so I then, accept that. I accept. No, no. But at the end of the day, whose job? Whose job? No, I accept it. Whose job is it to instil that into them? I don't know. Is it not his? Is it not his job? I don't know, because the bigger... The, uh, listen, I was, at a, a, the hang on. I was at a thing with Neville Southall the other day, and he said, he was talking about mentality, he was hmm. talking about keeping all the players, and he said, someone he knows is a manager, 
right? In the last job, he went in at half time, bollocked the player, game finished, got a phone call from HR at the club <laughs> saying, you're not allowed to speak to him like that. And was out of a job three days later. So there's only so much these managers can I appreciate control. that. But do they, what they players can... think that... No, you're right. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm saying this is what footballers are these days. And this is why sometimes it's dead easy to yeah. have a go with him for everything. Listen, like I've just well, said, I've, I've just had the Delft with... thing wasn't good. I've just had a go players... with the people at the no, top. No, no, no. no this I'm... is the problem. It starts at the top at Everton Football Club. And it, and, it, and it comes all the way down because nobody nobody at the club, nobody is there and they're not willing to make the difficult decisions. They're not. Some, someone should have just said to every player on yeah, Saturday, yeah, yeah. don't put anything on social media tonight mm. apart from the fans were amazing. Thank you very much. We're, we're sorry. But yeah, I'm seeing players putting pictures of celebrating goals. We've just been beaten 3-2. Mm. The only one I would say is for Charles and put a picture of him looking miserable. Look miserable. That's the only one I would say that's fine. Because he's basically week. showing that he pissed off <laughs> at the result. There'd also be a picture of him celebrating then, the goal, which uh, Everton put up. But they sh- oh my god, Everton see, put up. this is the problem. This is the it's problem. Not, but with I, the club. I get what Ped, Ped's saying because it, it only takes an official to message each one of them players and say, lads, nothing. You shouldn't even yeah, take an yeah, official. No, I'm just saying that's you what You go I mean. on the team coach on the way up. I agree. And you go, I'm lads, saying, none of you. Players do it. None of you has put anything out on social media tonight. None of you. None of you. You're grown men. This should hurt you. Yeah. Because you know what? There's a load of people driving back. Does it hurt them? It, no, but whether it does or it doesn't, mm. the message, no, they should, don't the they message I should be... You. No, no. You've just, what you've just said there, there's people driving back from Brighton. It was pissing that. Yeah, you were texting me going, at 11 o'clock in the month, there's a pitch mm. inspection. It mightn't even be on. People, oh, went, right? Brian. people, no, got, no, people <laughs> got back to London, soaked through, yeah. and yeah. the trains had all been cancelled. That's what it hates. The fans fans it hates spend them. The, but, how the hell have we sold out for Southampton already because, in a few weeks? Because it's a long way to go. People can fa- get pissed on the way there and back. No, that, <laughs> the fans, that's the truth, listen, though. Listen, what, what the would you fans like to do? are brilliant. They go everywhere. And, and, and it hates and us all. Yeah. I've got up this morning still feeling like I've been on the aisle since Saturday night. I haven't had a drop. I'll have and yet I just feel sick. I, feel, I am going to overdose on listen, them. I feel sick because it's the same thing. It's the same that thing of like you feel like you're moving somewhere and then you end up just pushing back by making the same mistakes. That's what annoys me more than anything. You can lose games of football. It happens. It's it. The whole nature of football, it's a competition. Yeah. Two teams are playing. You can win some, lose some. Like we said before, that Brighton game in isolation is one of them games a referee's made a... Mm. Oh, sorry, he hasn't. VAR's made a ridiculous call. It's cost us the game because momentum can go what against does it you. Say? But the problem is, the problem is when you've lost five out mm-hmm. of six games, your players have to be mentally tough. When that, when it's going against you, you roll your sleeves up and you dig in. Like you said, that penalty went in. Probably the manager should have turned on then and gone right and gone two two. Ten minutes left. Let's get our shape. Get yeah. Dom. He could have even gone four four two yeah. and gone. I tell you what. Okay. It corners, get the Charles and Dom running into corners. Tom Davis come and play on the right hand side, offer him some protection to yeah. Sidderby. And we didn't. But the players have Who got played to do on that the right well. hand side. Nobody. Nobody. They had Tom Davis exactly. almost. Exactly. That's no, what's hard. That's what's so hard. what does that say about the manager yeah. when when, you've got, when, when they come out on a winger who basically scored the winning goal or set up the winning goal? And you've got the their right backs no uh, their left backs no slouch, are they? The left you've back's got, a, he's a centre back. But, yeah, but he no didn't sl- even go <laughs> forward in the end because yeah. you got Trossard. Yeah. And you and you're basically saying to him, "Well, you've got a free run now." Mm. What what do, what is that saying as a manager? Why aren't you saying, "Right, Tom, just go over there, right, and sit in, and front, sit of in front of him, yeah. sit in front of him. He'll go up and down, and you just stay where you are and be give the little one twos. And when you get the ball, let him That's go." That's right. The whole the well the Walcott sub didn't really make that much sense if you're not it didn't putting make another, any sense. if you're not putting Keane on. To cause them, if he'd have put Moise Keane on, in my opinion, it would have forced them back further because they'd have been thinking, oh, he's got pace, he can get in behind here. Yeah. He, you know, and he's going to have to force these back, that Trossard's going to have to double up on him. But we didn't, we were lopsided. Everything was almost uh, weighted towards yeah, the, the left, yeah, so there was the side, a big yeah. gap down that side. And but again, what you co- coming back to what you were saying there about like coming from the top, like, we're only five points off seventh. Mm. Right. I'm mm. sorry, like, but... No, we are. 
the season. We could still finish in Europe we if you want to. We could do. But you know what? The club are too, are too fuss when it comes to making decisions. Mm. Too fuss. Well, uh, right. I'm we'll sorry. See. If you want to finish in Europe and you're going on about you want to win this and you yeah. want to get these... I've seen someone posted a thing, what Mashiri said about um, we want to win trophies, we don't want to be looking at an empty cabinet. Well, Museum. no offence, we are going to look at an empty cabinet because well, you know what? We're weak. We're weak. Yeah. I looked at, when I looked club. at the stats before, Sorry, when I looked are. at the stats before of the seasons, the last few seasons, when I looked at how many games we've won on average, having three wins at this time of the year yeah. is nothing new. It's no surprise. It happens nearly every year. Martin has booked the trend and obviously Moyes did, I think, in his last season and Koeman's first season. They're yeah. the only seasons that booked the trend. And that's who we are. If we win three games after 10, 10, 10 games, it's not really a surprise. And yet we continue doing this. We have the same people working at the club in those high positions that have, have been working there for years in one aspect or not. And we allow this to go on. It it comes it runs all the way through the club. Like I believe in Bar of Rock. It just goes all the way through the club. And you're right, no one's willing to make the tough decisions. They've got no, stand, they've got no standards. They don't have any standards. Like I've seen Arsenal fans yesterday, got, they want Emery out. Yeah. And the fifth. And I wouldn't... The fifth in the... Uh, I I wouldn't, it's a bit harsh. But what, but, yeah, but what they see is... What they see is... They can see everything else. They can see the... Sta- they see they have higher standards to, to, than us. They see how things are, where they want to be. Yeah. And that... You know what I mean? It, 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 we... They also behave atrociously. No, they, they do. do. They I, do. I, yeah. they do. I, I totally I, agree. I, with and that. I appreciate that. I do. But I, you know, they like spoiled kids. Arsenal. Fans. Yeah. But then some of their players like spoiled kids as well. Mm. So, it, 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 they are the antithesis of 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 you know of we. But, but they see it off. They've had it off the pitch as well, haven't they? They've got the. Don't forget Arsenal as well. They've got the power still going off the pitch. They've got an owner who just doesn't give them monkeys. Yeah. Mm. And you know, like 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 United, um. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We can't keep going every week, win one, then the manager, everyone wants him sacked the week after. It's not, it's not like, there's got to come a point it's where... It's not conducive to being it's not, it's not. It's not. Well, again, though, it's not. Where does wait, that, not where does that, to manage well, where does that come from then? Right. If there's someone at the top, right, right. those people who are supposed to run the club, right, they're supposed to be the leaders of the club. If they came out and went, he ain't getting sacked. No one has them. No, no, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. If he came, they came out and said, he ain't getting sacked. He's got a three-year contract. He's halfway through it. He's not getting the sack. Right? I'm not saying the, the, the vote of confidence, but they're not. They clearly got their finger hovering on the button. Of course he has. Right? Of course he has. And you're right, that's not conducive. That's not it's, not, it's not fair on him. It's not good it's not on, fair on That's Silver, not good for even. anybody. Anybody, whether it be the players, whether it be the players at all, like we, we, we love them, blah, blah, blah. We'll play like you love them then. They're not going to come out and say they hate him, are they, either, to be fair? No, of course not. But, <laughs> but, but there's plenty of ways you're getting it out that, yeah. you, that you don't like it. There's plenty of ways. I get that, but at the same time, the club are just leaving them hanging to dry by not doing anything to help them. Like, I haven't heard brands come out and say anything. I haven't heard Machiri. They're the people who should be coming out and saying stuff and saying, he's our manager and he will be our manager. But they're not. But he's obviously... But he's obviously they're letting, they're letting, they're letting the speculate... Because then all the fans would shut up. Do you think? Yeah, because every weekend, you know yourself, you're on Twitter, every weekend, I knew this was going to happen. Mm. We'd beat, I, I, knew, I thought we'd beat West Ham and then I knew Brighton would be the tough one because it's away from mm. home. Mm. And I knew the reaction would be what the reaction is because it's going to be like that until somebody comes out and says, he's our manager, he's going nowhere, we're going to stick by him, it's a long-term plan. But mm. no one has. And that says it all for me. Like Pets, they've got the, they've got their hand over a button ready to, and it will be Tuesday if they get beat. I'm sorry, it will be, because he can't, he can't carry on. If he, he can't carry on doing this, it's not fair on him for one. It's not a good way to manage, and it's not, it's it's not good as fans. Yeah. It, it, the atmosphere will be rubbish if it carries on like this. It, it, it just can't. It can't. It just it can't carry on like this in terms of how it is at the moment. I don't know how that changes apart from him being sacked. Yeah. But it just can't carry on with this. It just feels like it feels like game to game. Yeah, and that's and not that's, good. That's, that's not, not good. that doesn't that doesn't create a healthy atmosphere because then it gets fans up against each yeah, other as well. Then oh, I think he should stay. I, but how can you say to someone or say I've seen people on on, on social media say no, I, I I think he should. It's bad and the VAR if the VAR but there's no there's no proof that he's going to stay and then there's no it just it does feel like he's just a dead man walking at the moment and that's not fair. I don't think that's fair on anyone. We, but going back to what you said before, we also don't look like we're building anything either. No. We don't look like we're building or we're going in a, sen- a general direction. 
I mean, you start the weekend and you're watching Leicester beat someone nine nil. Who yawn? Who, by the way, none of us would sit here now thinking we could go. We'd go to Southampton and beat them, and they beat them nine nil. And and that and the people can go. They're sending off. So what? I like DK. So it's what? Hard, it's hard sometimes. Would we go? It? Would if we? I've seen us go plenty of places and have someone sent off and not be able to do anything about it. They went there and just went. I've seen Brendan Rodgers come out at half time. He said, "Tell me half time. You take your foot off the gas." Are well, they mentioning that? He said, he, yeah. like, he said, I yeah. told them to punish them. He, um, That's what he said. Because it, it was a thing at the 30 minutes, Roger was going mad. They were yeah. near 3 0. He said, I was going mad. Someone done a flick, and Car- I think Carragher might have noticed yeah, it or something, yeah. and he seen him fuming on the, on the touchdown of 3 0. Yeah. He said, I told them to punish them. Standards, isn't it? But that's the standards you create yourself, isn't mm. it? You create, you come, you know, I, they were I know. brilliant the way they didn't stop. Oh, Absolutely but there you brilliant. go. And then you see. They've got players like Vardy. I know, it's not like that. It's even some of the players I before have... the game are going to, to Carragher. Yeah, we'll win this easy yeah. 3-0 today. To, the, to Neville and Carragher before the game. Madison, Chilwell. And then they said to Rodgers after the game, the players were telling us we're going to win 3-0 before the game. But, Rodgers didn't look too happy that he did no, no, said that. A, but... That's a belief. That's a self-belief that yeah. you're going to do it. I watched Chelsea on, 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 um, on Saturday, Saturday night. Yeah. And, you know, Pulisic is in the team yeah. from, who's been fighting to go to Burnley. It's not. The it's not. Sick, it's it? not this case of like, oh, Burnley's a tough place to go. They fucking blew him out the park. Game over after 25, 30 minutes. But what they did was they worked as hard and they had that extra little bit. Twice, they had a yeah. self belief. The manager has give them a self belief that they can go anywhere mm. and win. Liverpool one 0 down to Tottenham. Yeah, you would them. never have thought. Nah. No, none of their fans ever thought they were going to lose. No. None of them fans thought they were going to draw. They all believed they were going to win. This is something we just don't have at our club, self-belief. I know it's been a thing for a long while, but a manager's got to give you that. And that's the problem at the moment. No one's got that feeling of any belief in anybody at the club. And again, that comes from the people at the top instilling that in the people in the club, and it's not there. And let's, be a, let's be honest, we haven't really appointed very well, have we, since, no. since Moyes, think. probably? No, we haven't. Right, let's leave it there. We were going to talk about Michael Keane, but I think we'll leave that for the Tuesday topic. Yeah. Because uh, I, think, I think Baz looks like he needs... A Hulk or something. <laughs> there you go. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. <sighs> Plenty to get out of this game and what ha- what is happening at Everton Football Club. Don't forget, if you want to uh, want to join up with the with the Athletic, the link is in the description. Um, you get thirty days free trial. It's it's there. Check it out. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. <laughs>